What's up guys, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's Tech Support Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to speed up Big Sur and clean up temporary files for free. So if you come on over here to Google and just do a search for a program called Onyx, and then Big Sur, you will find Titanium Software. Now they are a French software company. And they have uh, several applications, but here we're going to just go on over Onyx. Now when you do download Onyx for Mac OS, you do need to make sure that you get it for the correct version of the operating system. So here if we come on up to Applications, and learn more under Onyx, you can see here it is version 3.9.3, .3, which is okay to use on both the Intel-based Mac as well as the M1 based Mac as well. So we will go ahead and click on download. And if you want to, you can go ahead and click on the release notes and check out the different versions here of this particular release. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come on over to the downloads and open Onyx. Go ahead and hit agree. We'll click and drag that over to the applications. Just open up the applications and go ahead and look for it. Now we're going to have to go ahead and open up the security and uh, privacy pane in the system preferences. All right, so we're going to go ahead and come on over to the security and privacy and click on the Privacy tab. We're going to go ahead and unlock this here. And we're going to scroll down, click on Full Disk Access, and then go ahead and look for Onyx, and go ahead and check that box. We'll go ahead and just say uh, Quit and Reopen. And now here is Onyx. So I'm going to go ahead and just close everything out here so you can see it. Now before I go ahead and run it, I want to go ahead and show you here if I go to About This Mac and then Storage. And then if we go on over here to Manage, you can see that the uh, system and other system files are taking up uh, this amount of space right here. So we'll go ahead and run it and check it afterwards. All right, so now that we are in Onyx, we can pretty much just go ahead and either just run the tasks or you can go ahead and uh, select particular items to go ahead and run using Onyx. I'm going to go ahead and rebuild the Spotlight Index. Now in the event that say for example the built-in mail program is having some issues then you can also go ahead and rebuild the database for the mailboxes and mail or rebuild the index or you can just delete the existing index and that can go ahead and actually help resolve some issues that you might be having with it. Just be patient for it to go ahead and open up for the very first time after it completes because it will have to go ahead and rebuild everything and re-index everything. So we'll just go ahead and run that. All right, the system has now rebooted. So now we're gonna go back up to about this Mac and then check out the storage. If we go on over here to manage, and then you can see here under system and other. So some of those uh, other files, it went ahead and cleaned up. It was 7.41 gigs before, and now it is only 6.44 gigs. This video is actually going to end up being a bit shorter than I expected because Onyx was running so well that when it was uh, running some of its processes it actually went ahead and deleted some of the temporary files of the video that it was recording at the time. <laughs> but hey, at least we know it works really good about cleaning up some temporary files. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below uh, what technical support you have problems with. I've been told I'm a good listener, so go ahead and tell me your problems with your computer. Hmm. Is that so? Now I can only hear one person at a time, so go ahead and drop a comment below. 
and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done with this other viewer right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have you turned it off and on again? Oh, really? That is interesting. Hmm. I might have to think about that for a bit. That is a bit weird. Well, there's lots of things that could cause that to happen, but go ahead and tell me more. It'll help me narrow down what could be causing the root issue. Hmm. Have you tried unplugging all of the USB devices and see if that makes a difference and then plug everything back in or try a different port? I'll wait. Hold on a second. I, I'm, I'm hearing too many people telling me their problems. One person at a time, please. Everybody else, please go ahead and just type down in the comments below. Hmm. Wait, hold, hold up. Did you hit that like button real quick? Go ahead and smash that like button. Thank you. Yeah, I'll go ahead and wait while you reboot. I'm glad to hear that that helped everything. I'm glad to hear that that fixed your problem. Hmm. Anyways, if you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. And if you'd like to see more about Onyx, where I go a little bit more into a deep dive, then go ahead and drop a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.